Hi, I'm Jake Duell, event organizer of the Western National Robot Rodeo held here at Sandia National Laboratories in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Let me show you what this event's all about. This lively and challenging competition brings together experts in public safety and explosive disposal for a week-long capability exercise. Civilian and military bomb squad teams utilize hazardous duty robots in challenging real-world scenarios that mimic emergency situations teams may encounter in the field. Participants receive up to 40 hours of practice to enhance their robot manipulation skills. They gain confidence in remote response, preparedness, maneuverability, and situational awareness in the 3D environment of robot response. You cannot match the experience that we gain at the Robot Rodeo, operating robots that pushes the operator to know the robot's limitations. Sometimes you do a few scenarios that are kind of outside the box, but it's real challenging for the robot operators who maybe don't get as much stick time. There's no better opportunity to actually challenge yourself and push the robot to all its limitations. Pushing the robots to newer heights, um, doing things that you think that could not be done, but can actually do. I bet you're wondering how we come up with our robot rodeo scenarios. Well, unfortunately, if you watch the nightly news, you'll see there's plenty of events throughout the world where a bomb technician would be involved. So we take those real world events, shorten them into a 90 minute scenario with the goal of pushing their capability. Not only do we want to push their capabilities as a bomb tech, but also push their capabilities of the robot and their equipment so that when they're out on a real call, their skills will be enhanced and hopefully they can solve that problem and come home safe and sound. So the bottom line of the robot rodeo is we're trying to take good robot operators and turn them into great robot operators. Uh, one of my most memorable scenarios from robot rodeo was uh, it was two years ago and we had a problem where there were, was uh, alien bodies being transported in a C-130 aircraft and we had to collect vials of blood from the aliens for testing as well as uh, retrieve a black box. Uh, obviously it was an unrealistic scenario, but it was great because you didn't know how to approach it. It was a new type of problem and it challenged our ways of thinking and we had to use different types of tools that we don't normally use, but can be applicable in certain situations and that uh, different bomb squads might find themselves doing things in a similar vein and we did learn some capabilities of our robot that it could not do and some things it was good at that we didn't realize. The Robot Rodeo provides a challenging training environment where teams can push the boundaries of their comfort level, diffusing dangerous situations with the help of robots. Military and civilian teams from across the country come to network and compete, fostering dynamic interoperability that helps them to better coordinate and prepare for potential future emergency situations. One of the aspects I like about the Robot Rodeo is the interoperability between the military and civilian bomb squads. We get to see what our counterparts' capabilities are, and they get to see what our capabilities are, which helps us in responses. The Western National Robot Rodeo also introduces bomb squads to new techniques and tools through vendor exhibits and interactive tutorials. Working with industry partners, teams can experiment with new technologies in the scenarios alongside the manufacturers themselves for an enriching, hands-on learning experience. The vendors come out every year and show us the newest technology and allow us to use some of their products. It exposes us to other options that we have out there to enhance our capabilities, hopefully in future years. As you can see, this is an amazing event and the teams have a great time. We'd love to have you at the Robot Rodeo. So check out our website, robotrodeo.sandia.gov, and we'll see you there.